everybody. It's David Pingree. We're here at KTM. By now, you've heard the news that Ryan Dungey is signed with these guys, and uh, he will be riding orange in 2012. Uh, we stopped by. They had a big press function today. Everybody gets to ask a few questions. Uh, we, we took some readers' advice, got a few questions from them. We're going to hit up Roger, some of the other guys that make up this team, and uh, see get their thoughts on 2012. Okay, we're here with the man, Roger DeCoster. Roger, you got your guy. Yeah, I'm very happy. Uh, you know, now we have a top 450, and uh, it really feels good to be working again with uh, Ryan. You know, we spent a lot of time together and uh, had a lot of success, and hopefully we can duplicate that. Okay, now, I know it's finally signed now. When did you know you had him? When was it? Middle of the summer? You know, when uh, when uh, I left Suzuki, um, I, I had a feeling uh, that Ryan wanted to come with me, you know, but uh, uh, he, he had a contract and I didn't want to, to press that issue at that time because um, first he had a contract and second, uh, we would not have been ready. And, uh, uh, you know, you, you're never sure until it's done, you know, because you, you don't know if another manufacturer is going to come and um, double your offer or whatever. And uh, uh, I, I, had a, I had a good feeling it was going to happen, but I, I was never 100% sure. Well, you guys have to be excited. Like you said, you've got a couple of great lights riders this year. Uh, now you've added Ryan Dungey to the stable. I've said uh, for a while now, you guys are, are, are building this, uh, this force. And I think 2012 is going to be an amazing year for KTM between yourself, now Dungey and Everts and just Bayer, all the crew that you've got. It's it's a pretty amazing staff. Yeah, we have. Uh, I feel we have a really good crew uh, over here and also in Austria. And uh, the, our guys are working their butt off, and uh, you, you know they deserve uh, they deserve results results. And uh, uh, I hope we can deliver them next year. You know, a lot of, something a lot of the mechanics tell me about you here that maybe people don't know is you're a, you're a tinker. You go back in the race shop and get on one of the lathes or one of the machines and make little parts and pieces till late in the night. Is that true? Yeah, I, I like doing that and uh, I like to help where there's a need, you know. And uh, uh, it feels good to be to be part of it and to work with uh, the young guys and the competitive people. And um, you know, I, I I feel I'm lucky to to do what I'm doing. Okay, what, what do you think your chances are in 2012 to win titles? You've got uh, a couple of great lights kids in Roxon and Muskin, and now you've got arguably the best or at least one of the best 450 riders. I, I do think that, uh, you know, I don't want to be overconfident, but I do think that we have a, a realistic chance, uh, chance as, as well as uh, anybody out there in, in ball classes. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Okay, we found Ryan walking around here trying to eat. We didn't let him. Ryan, um, you're coming onto a team here that uh, you're very familiar with the crew. Uh, it's an amazing assembly of guys, uh, but it's still a team and a bike that has not won a 450 Supercross or National, uh, or Supercross anyway, or title. So how do you deal with that? Uh, well, definitely. You know, I mean, the, it's what it is, you know, right now. But uh, I think at this point, you know, just teaming up with KTM has been a, a great experience so far. Uh, this Monday, this past Monday, um, it was the first time on the bike getting started testing, getting things rolling. And, and, and it's been great. You know, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, bike's been good. The team's been working awesome together and uh, teaming back up with Roger and Ian. And uh, that's also great as well. You know, I think working with Roger, he can, a lot of knowledge. You know, it's, I think he brings a lot to the team. But uh, carrying that forward, I think, you know, you're right. You know, we're, we haven't really won any championships and so, and so forth. But, um, you know, I think with a great uh, offseason and a lot of testing and so, and we can carry that forward and, and, and get in that first championship. Um, I think we're more than capable of doing it. Got the right guys, right people, uh, right equipment. And it's just a matter of all the pieces coming together and, and uh, doing it right. Now, when, when you, uh, when Roger left Suzuki, um, I know you love working with him. He was. He kind of said that you almost wish you could have gone then. You had another year in your contract, but you're that confident in working with him that you know you feel like you guys can get it done despite whatever odds are maybe against you. No, absolutely. Um, you know, I'll say it like Roger. If he's going to do some, he he does it right. You know, 100% of the time, he's he's got a great. Uh, He's got a great mind for, for the way he thinks and, and getting the right equipment and how things work. Um, but as far as working together, absolutely. If, I think if there's a any other team or any other group of people that can get the job done, it's 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 this group. But uh, you know, I think Roger, 
Absolutely. I mean, I've always, from day one, you know, you hired me on coming in. And at the time, you know, you're just there. You're like, cool, I'm a pro. Like, let's win races now. And, and uh, it wasn't until like a year after that, uh, second year pro, I realized, wow, this this guy's got a lot of knowledge. You know, I should start really listening and paying attention. But um, yeah, as time went on, I was able to realize we were able to work together and winning championships together. And um, sadly, he left la this year. And uh, it was tough. You know, I think just uh, the friendship we were able to build was, was great. But you know, I'm, I'm really happy to say we're working together this year, and, and um, like you said, you know, I think with with us working together, I think we're, we got a great team and, and a great eye for for everything, and uh, we can get the job done. And, and no off, no off season racing for you. You guys are going to stick to the test track and uh, and just get work done and go to Anaheim. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to shoot for uh, with the Monster Cup coming up. It's really tempting. I, I always enjoyed that. You know, going to the uh, only did it once, but doing those little races and and so forth. But I think right now it's important that we just focus on what lies ahead and getting ready for 2012 and and getting everything in order. And what about uh, what about the rest of your programs? I see you, you know you're still on with Target, but you've got a new agent, some other new things. What, what else is different in your program? Absolutely, you know we got uh, we're at Red Bull coming on. You know same, it's a team sponsor as well as a personal, and uh, they they've been great as well. You know a great great energy drink company, and uh, they actually. Uh, really into the athlete, you know, the performance and helping them. So that's really cool to be teaming with them and uh, obviously KTM and um, everything's pretty pretty similar. You know, I just trying to surround ourselves with the best people and, and do the best we can and, and show up and I guess be as ready at all time and enjoy it, you know, have some fun. Okay, well, sounds like this guy's ready to go. Good luck. We'll see you at Anaheim. Thank you. All right, we tracked down the technical director is his new title, Ian Harrison. Uh, Ian. I know you from way back in the day when you came over here with Alby, uh, Greg Albertine. You worked with him from 95 to 99 uh, when you guys won an outdoor national title together. You stayed with Suzuki. You had a, a big hand in developing those motorcycles through the Carmichael era. Now you're at KTM as of uh, since 2011, and this is your new baby. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Yeah, this is our new baby. This is, well, Ryan's new baby. And uh, it's been a work in progress this year, of course, and uh, we've made substantial improvements along the way and uh, this has been our first week of supercross testing with Ryan and uh, it's going better than expected. Now Roger kind of said that uh, making the power wasn't a problem it was it was getting it to where it's controllable and kind of where he likes it and you guys have come a long way there huh? Yeah absolutely as you know four strokes uh, especially 450s make a lot of power but to get it to the rider when he needs it is is key you know to help with traction and out of the turn jumps and things like that and uh, it's challenging of course but uh, it's fun and I'm sure that uh, we're gonna get there in the end. We, we still got a long way to go but like I said this week we've made a lot of improvements and uh, we're really happy. Well now you were telling me a little bit about the uh, endurance testing room they've got over in Austria for these engines and this is a completely new bike this motor was uh, came off of an off-road engine give us a little bit of a background on this motor and sort of some of the development and how they endurance tested over there in Austria. Yeah, normally um, they would they would ride the bike, they would have a production bike, it would have already done all the production hours of testing and you would already have all that information before you started building a race bike. This bike has come along in a short amount of time so there were a lot of unknowns so they have um, extremely good test facilities in Austria and uh, they would start running the bike for example with all the race parts in it for 25 hours and then if it made it that far they would tear it down check if, how everything's going and then push it up and and as of now we're up to a hundred hours of dyno time and everything's staying together so that gives us a peace of mind when you send somebody out onto a supercross track knowing that at least everything's going to hold up and um, and we do have some fantastic parts in there too that are that are really phenomenal in the racing world already like the pankel pistons and rods and, and so on which which uh, gives us as engineers a uh, a feeling of confidence. And you were telling me that this bike, this engine and certain parts on it have already got some race experience as well. Yeah, they they started riding this bike in Austria as soon as they uh, came up with the idea of making it for uh, for um, motocross and uh, it already has a, a, a motocross title. It is, they won the Austrian uh, championship with this bike, a guy by the name of Mickey Stauffer. Cool. So it's already proven championship winning engine and uh, Dungey hopes to bring another title to this motor very soon. Okay, we did get some reader, reader requests for questions via Twitter. 
thank you everyone who submitted those. I'm gonna give them to them lightning round style here real fast. So here we go, you ready? Ready. Don't, don't think, just this is off the hip right here. Okay, this is from Cole Seeley, favorite color? Orange. <laughs> Orange, see that? Are you super pumped? Super pumped, yes. Definitely yes, indeed. And which Disney character do you feel is most capable of committing murder? Tasman, oh, that's, that's a Disney character? Yeah. I don't watch Disney Channel. It's a legitimate question. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. I'm not sure that's Disney, but okay, there it is. Thank you.